I am a mosaic of every person who has ever touched me. I am always finding new ways to make something whole out of little shards of my favorite memories, recycled and repurposed. The parts of me that are used have always been my favorite, fascinated with the way our colors blend together to make something so beautiful from a mess of sharp edges. I once loved a boy who would pick me flowers. I was 17 years old then. I held his hand so proudly and it all made sense. I'm still trying to figure out how my young heart felt so much deeper when they told me I didn't know the first thing about feeling. I am starting from scratch, growing disorderly like dandelions, just wild enough to unlearn everything I was taught to believe. My heart has learned to touch and go, arriving and departing with the sky, transitioning from dusk to dawn, like children with sidewalk chalk, we've been finding beauty in temporary things. They weren't meant to last longer than their series of moments and neither were we. I want to find comfort and vulnerability. I want to find places that men have not yet dug their hands into the roots of. I'm begging mother nature to teach me her ways. So breathtaking, graceful, and completely captivating, never once having to be anything more than the most organic version of herself. I wonder how different the world would be if we all learned to live that way, without fear of judgment, embracing the artistry and our imperfections. Sometimes I think we forget that we were just fine before somebody spoon-fed us this false idea of beauty to make a profit. I am just now becoming comfortable with what it means to be alive, here, and human a cluster of canvases that have been painted and repainted more times than we care to keep track of. I used to see my mistakes as a whole arsenal of weapons strangers could choose to use against me, but now I've tattooed them onto my skin. I have nothing left to hide. I have become a human art gallery of scars and missing pieces, a lost and found, live in the flesh, giving you all of the things you didn't even know you were missing, and in return, you can free me of all of this baggage. The words I'm sorry used to burn holes into my stomach like ulcers, so cautious with who is worth the flame and each apology that I digest. I never really got any better at that. I just stopped living a life I had to be sorry for.